Now, when people ask about how the Allosaurus was laid out and how why it's even here, and we're starting to get some idea of what was around here in the Jurassic period. For example, the channel sandstone that we ran into and we've been running into for a few years here shows us that there was a river channel flowing behind me. But what's neat is down in here, all the Allosaurus bones were sitting amongst a plant called horsetail. It grows in marshes, lots of water, still water, little river channels. But this is a tree. And if you look right here, it runs up, caught the dinosaur on this side. You can see all the bones on in here. Lots of horsetail. Then you come over here, and there's another tree. A little hard to see, but this is a petrified tree. Not a very big one, but there's two of them that surround the dinosaur. It might be something to do with why it was caught here and the water didn't wash it away. It's a little hard to see, but I was talking about the horsetail. It's a lot like cattail that grows in a watery environment. These things, they look like little flowers, are actually little whorls. They're cross sections of a stalk, and they were little plant whorls that would grow out of the stalk. This is horsetail. This is what the Allosaurus was sitting in, is a little horsetail pond. What are some of those other ones off to the right that you found? We have some paleobotanists that come in here all the time, and I'm really hoping they can tell me what that is. It's That's almost got a, like a three-dimensional look so, to it. That one, it's like a cup Yep, we found a lot, of, a lot of seed pods, pine cones. And a lot of it is, for us, hard to identify, and that's why I'd hope to get some people up here to help us out. That'd be cool. We're working our way through the forested area of the dig site to the left, on the opposite side of where one of the trees has fallen. And we're finding all sorts of impressions, indentations of different plant life. Fortunately, we don't save that kind of thing. It doesn't last to leave it out in the sun, expose it for... Even a few minutes it just kind of deteriorates and falls apart. But it's cool to see while you're digging it out. This is neat. You don't always see plant patterns. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, own little petrified forest here. So anything that was green and fleshy turned to charcoal. Mm -hmm. Explains the amount of sulfur we see in all the bones and in the ground. Look at that. Oh, yeah.